Yes, I'm leaving. Leaving. I'm long gone. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today starts the first day of week four of my AMD challenge, where I trade just one company for an entire year. I'm gonna track their price movements in the stocks. I'm gonna check the good news, the bad news, and then we're gonna do market analysis over this company to see when we can buy low and sell high. My last video got 70 likes. Yo, I see you, 70 likes. I. I like that. Let's see if we can get 70 likes again. I, I, I really appreciate that. Y'all hit that like button and man, we got up to 70 likes. Yeah, I, I really like that. <laughs> I'm really smiling because I you, you guys like this series, so I'm going to continue to do it. All right, so here we go. I have my Robinhood account pulled up. Remember, if you guys want to sign up for Robinhood, the link will be down in the description. You'll get a free stock just for signing up. All right, so here we go at AMD. I told you guys my plays for last week, what I was going to do. If AMD dropped to a certain price point, I was going to buy it. If you guys missed that video, go back out and check it. So what I did do, I didn't do a, a put credit spread this week. What I did, I just bought three shares of AMD. Before I show you guys what I bought AMD at, the last week AMD dropped 2.81%. So you're probably wondering that I lost money since AMD did go down 2.81% uh last week but you'll be surprised because if you guys was following my plays you would have paid attention to what i said and you would have actually made money this week so let me show you guys how i made money even though amd dropped the last week so we scroll down i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i did i did a market buy of amd i bought three shares of amd at 54.19 three shares of amd at 54.19 the current price of AMD is at $55.09. That means I made a profit of $2.70. That is a percentage gain of 1.6%. So um, AMD dropped 2.81%, but I ended up making 1.6% this week from AMD just by tracking the news and from drawing the charts. I'm going to also draw charts in this video too at the end. So make sure you stay to the end so you guys don't miss out for my plays for AMD coming up this week. So with me making $2.70 this week, that bring my grand total from week one to week four, $12. So I profit $12 from AMD just from buying it low, selling it high, or doing put credit spreads on AMD. I am up $12 from AMD since the day I started, and this is week four. Let's hope I have a profitable month going into next week. Enough with Robin Hood, let's get into the news and then draw the charts on our plays for AMD that we're going to do this week. Alright guys, here we are. The video I had planned at the beginning was the new Thread Ripper that came out from AMD. That was one of the first 64 core processors that's um, ready for your workstation. That's probably, that's probably the first CPU that's come out that's readily available to the public that you guys can put inside your workstations and get to work with it right away so they're really proud of the thread ripper um another good news article that i seen was that nvidia amd um that's their 2020 summer video cards if you buy a video card from amd they will come with a new game oh yeah they will come with a new game godfall and death straining so um they're really pushing the new cards hard if you're buying their new gpus you get a free game just from buying the new GPUs. And I actually seeing that uh, the game Death Stranding is really gonna push some sales from people to buy their new GPUs that are coming out. All right, so I need, and then I seen another good article on why did Google Cloud, their service choose to use AMD EPYC server CPUs. Um, basically, the same thing that I was saying earlier was that the AMD EPYC CPUs, that came with 64 cores and 128 threads at 2.25 gigahertz so basically um they have great cpus that is readily available for these companies to use and for amd to work with a company like google that can only boost their stock and their revenue because they're going to be selling a lot of their cpus for cloud service to, to google in the future so these were a couple of good news articles that i seen for the week i was trying to look for 
anything bad about AMD because because finding bad news about AMD will actually help me know if I need to sell AMD this upcoming week or do I just hold on to my three shares that I bought but I'm going to explain exactly what I'm going to do with my three shares when we get into the market analysis part of this video but I did not find any bad news well nothing major I didn't find any major bad news about AMD itself where that it is probably overpriced right now but let's go ahead and pull up the charts so we guys could draw our charts for the week and see what my plays are going to be for week four of this AMD 52 week trade challenge all right guys and here we are we are in thinkorswim uh with td ameritrade amd i have amd pulled up right here this is the four hour 180 day chart all right before we zoom in i did draw these two lines a long time ago way back in week one i said that it was going to bounce right here it did bounce went all the way back to its high and then i said it was going to bounce right here again and it did bounce off that line and come back to this high and sold off around where i said it was going to sold off and let's zoom in a little bit i said that amd was going to pull back all the way to this 180 day simple moving average line which is the green moving line right here i drew this arrow saying that it might trade sideways and amd is not really in the upward trend right now it's in a sideways trend but it did pull back to this green line and i said if price fell to around 54 dollars or around to the uh, 180 day simple moving average line the sma the green line right here that I was going to buy a couple of shares and then ride it all the way back up to this old all-time high of last week to around $58. So AMD is around $55.09 right now. If it gets up to $58, I'm going to sell those three shares and take my profit. I also said that AMD can get to the 180-day simple moving average and fall below all the way back down to this old support of $49.81. If AMD falls below $50, I'm probably gonna sell it, take my losses, and then wait for the next trade setup. But right now, it's doing good. It is in the upward trend right here, moving on up. Hopefully sometime this week, AMD can get up to $58 so I can make a good sale. If not, if it continues to trade sideways at a slowly moving pattern going up, I'm just gonna sell it because I want the explosive growth I'm going to get out and wait for the next trade setup. So some good things that I see inside of this chart, um, it bounced off the 180 day simple moving average. It's trading above the 180 day simple moving average. It bounced off that line. And if we take a look at the MACD, it looked like it's going to cross right here, going from the red to the green. That is a good indication that it might be in the upward trend for the next couple of days. And also AMD is not overbought and it's also not oversold but if we draw a little line at the uh on the rsi indicator it is pointing up so it might be in for a good uptrend with the uh, macd about to cross and the rsi around in the middle and about to go up if we zoom out just a little bit on the 180 day four hour chart let's draw a line from that major dip right there to that major dip right there and draw this line out all right so we got another line added onto our graph right here so amd could trade sideways all the way until it meets up with this um this trend line that we just drew or it could bounce and use this trend line as its old support now so we're going to keep an eye on this trend line right here if you ever get close to it it could be time for us to make another play on another major play on amd but that's all i have for the charts on amd this week there nothing major is really happening with amd right now it's just trading sideways all right guys and we're back that is my play for amd this week i'm just gonna hold on to my three shares hopefully it gets around 58 dollars if it do i'm going to sell if it's just trading sideways and going up slowly i'm gonna sell take some profit and that but if you guys like this series, you, get, you did an amazing job hitting that thumbs up button on the last video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you guys see some news out there, any good news or bad news that I have completely just missed, make sure that you leave that down in the comment section. Um, this is a community. There's a lot more eyes out there than just these two. So if you guys provide a lot of information down in the comment section, this um trading challenge would be that much easier if we all pitch in and help 
Uh, the easiest way that you guys can help me is in the comment section and by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you want to stay tuned to the rest of this series, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.